Welcome to the History AI Podcast, where the past comes alive with facts, anecdotes, and a dash of humor. Here are your hosts, Chuck and Marco. Hey everyone, welcome back to the History AI Podcast. I'm your host Chuck. And I'm Marco. Today, we're diving into the life of a man who played a pivotal role in Texas history. Chuck, have you ever heard of George Childress? Of course, Marco. He's the guy that, um, wait, was he the one who? You're about to find out. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're exploring the life of George Childress. Get ready for tales of ambition, the thirst for independence, and some good old history fun. Let's roll. Let's start at the beginning. Born on January 8, 1804, in Nashville, Tennessee, George Childress descended from a lineage of English settlers. His early life was grounded in the southern United States aristocracy. So basically he wasn't born in a log cabin like every other historical figure? Apparently not. In his youth, he showed promise in law and was even trained by an uncle, becoming a practicing attorney by his early twenties. And you know the saying, those who can't do, teach. Well, he taught law too. A real jack of all trades. What made him move to Texas though? Ah, the allure of new lands. In 1835, facing personal and professional setbacks in Tennessee, Childress relocated to Texas. Talk about a change of scenery. From Tennessee's Music City to Texas's Alamo City? Well the Alamo did play a part, but we'll get there. Before we dive into the Texan part of his life, let's get to know his character. Was he just a serious lawyer type? Far from it. In addition to law, Childress was known to have an affinity for writing, poems, essays, even dabbled in journalism. And, get this, he even tried his hand at playwriting. So he was the Lin-Manuel Miranda of his time? Almost, but with a bit more revolution and less musicals. Now, Texas in the 1830s was a hotspot, right? Absolutely. Texas was under Mexican rule, but many settlers, especially Anglo-Americans, yearned for independence. The idea of a separate Texas Republic was gaining traction. And George was all for it. Yes, George Childress was a staunch supporter of Texan independence. In fact, in 1836, he chaired a committee at Washington on the Brazzers, where they drafted the Texas Declaration of Independence. He's often credited as its primary author. Ah. The pen behind Texas independence. Hold that thought Marco. It's time for a word from our sponsors. From the mind behind the History AI podcast comes an electrifying journey into the past. A ripple through time, Franklin's folly. Dive into a tale where Benjamin Franklin, America's beloved inventor, takes an unexpected journey through time. But with his leap, he unleashes a powerful ripple. Now, with dark forces lurking in the shadows, harnessing this energy to shatter and enslave the world, it's a race against time. Will Franklin fix the future? Or will history rewrite itself? Uncover the secrets. A ripple through time, Franklin's folly. Time has never been more fragile. On Amazon presale now. All right, where were we? Ah yes, the war. With the declaration penned, the Texas Revolution was in full swing. So George took up arms and led the charge? Not quite. George's weapon was his words. However, the events of the war, particularly the siege of the Alamo, deeply affected him. His writings from this period echo the sentiments of unity, sacrifice, and liberty. So, he's like the guy who tweets inspirational quotes while everyone else is at the gym? Perhaps, but remember, his words inspired many to action. So, how did life treat George after the war? The post-war period was bittersweet. While Texas gained its independence, Childress faced personal struggles. His marriage ended, and financial issues plagued him. Sadly, on October 6, 1841, he took his own life. A tragic end to such a remarkable life. It truly was. But let's focus on his lasting impact. Childress' writings, especially the Texas Declaration of Independence, are celebrated as defining moments in Texan history. His legacy reminds us of the power of words in shaping nations and ideals. Well said Marco. And speaking of words, it's time to wrap ours up. True that Chuck. Thanks for joining us on this dive into the life of George Childress. And if you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and share the History AI podcast. Also, a big shout out to all our listeners for their support. Keep the history love going, and we'll see you in the next episode.